Moses lifted Israel up. And Nimrod came and broke the civilization of Moses. Nimrod is who you really celebrating on the 25th day of December. You're not celebrating the birth of Jesus Christ. And if you are, you're making a mockery of it. You drink more alcohol on his birthday than any other day in the year. And you turn the so-called birthday of Jesus Christ into a commercial feast of foolishness. Santa Claus has knocked Jesus out of the top spot. And the merchants who don't even believe in Jesus are busy selling you foolishness making themselves rich and you poor for another year on the basis of a lie and that's why they call it Xmas because you don't know who it is that you are worshiping where did you get this Christmas tree from what does that have to do with Jesus Christ and in all your churches you have this big tree look at what Jeremiah of the heathens for the heathens go in the forest and they cut down a tree and they fasten it down and they deck it with silver and gold ain't that what you do and when you try to tell the christian that this is a heathen practice they say well i don't care did it, my mother did it, I'm gonna still do it. And you paying 10, 20, 30 dollars for a tree, and then the tree dries up and burn you up in the house with your foolish self. Con Edison can't wait till Christmas come to con you out of some more money with your lights burning. ACG boot day. Got frigid temperatures, snow, so got this daggone uh, Whitney Houston song stuck in my head. That uh, saving all my love for you. Keep hearing that. You say be patient and wait a little longer, but that's just an old fantasy. You know what I'm, you know what I'm talking about? What's <laughs> up, Mama? Mama. Okay. Roll out. So this is the truck that I bought my wife. Of course, it's kind of dirty right now because of the snow and salt. But yeah, it's a 2002 Dodge Durango, third seat, fits all the children. Nobody's uh, cramped in it. Um, my boy Nish, uh, Danish is his uh, uncle sold it to me. So I'm eternally grateful to this brother for that. I'm able to take care of my, my functions. Uh, my wife and children are gonna be at the house. Ooh. Man, it's so cold, man. 
the truck don't want to stop. But what about God? So, December 25th, uh, later on today, I'm going to go see uh, the coffees. My Uncle Doug and his family, my Aunt Betty, check them out. Uh, he told me they don't really do the, the present exchange and all that type of stuff for Christmas because uh, his son-in-law uh, doesn't celebrate either. So that's cool. Go check them out. Um, but yeah, this day for me, it's a little nerve-wracking because I don't really partake and I really just don't want my children indoctrinated in these things. But you know, of course, family still likes to kind of celebrate and I get what family wants to celebrate you know certain people in my family is just about getting together and, and you know sharing time together and seeing everybody and people you know it makes them feel good to be able to give you a present and different things like that so I understand that aspect the issue for me though is just as a people we have so much going on with us in terms of our freedom or lack thereof. And we are not financially independent, but yet we still take part in these, these holidays that really get these merchants rich, but leave us back in the same predicament that we started or even worse. And so because we're not financially independent, we can't say we're free. If you gotta go to a Jewel or, or a Whole Foods or a Save a Lot or whatever group, a Mariano's or whatever to buy your food, then you're not free. You know what I mean? And, and like we, we constantly are complaining about our condition, but yet we constantly doing things to keep ourselves in a particular condition. And so that's my beef, you know, uh, and that's my issue. Alright, so here I'm at Dunkin' Donuts in Hyde Park. So excuse the um, the loudness. They got the music blasting. Here's an, a thing that we could do is all your family members that come together and you see, why don't we save fifty dollars a month each family member? And by the end of the year we come together and we bring that money together to try to invest in a business or invest in a family member who might be striving to build their own business and we give it to them and we invest into it um, but we create a council of family members a treasurer you know these different positions and we put in an account that we can't touch or should we have to touch it we um, we vote on it to see you know if this is something that we could do or, or need to do to maybe aid and assist a family member or something like that but just imagine one family saving fifty dollars a month by the end of the year that's what six hundred dollars you know and say you had ten family members to do that six thousand dollars to invest in something you know instead of us wasting this money and then with these holidays why don't we produce our own holidays make our own holidays but we don't have to be following these pagan traditions not understanding the root of where they come from you know there's so many different things that we follow and and and, and continue to per perpetuate and do that we don't have to understand the origin of where they come from little things from the from the bulb on the christmas tree uh, to the reef, you know, to all these different things. Let's not follow the trend of the heathen. And then think about your children. Half the time, the things that you buy your children, they don't even, they don't even play with it the next year, or even respect it, or even have it, or even have a care. We build our own days, man. Like, say you have an appreciation day. Like me and my wife are striving to have an appreciation day for the children, where we appreciate them striving to be part of the family, whether that be as as a as a as a unit with each other, as a, being a good brother and sister to one another, or being beautiful children to their parents, being respectful, or taking care of business in school, and doing these different things, appreciating them for those things, and, and doing something for them where we know, like, look, we want to get you this because we appreciate you for this and that and the other. Let's build our own holidays and traditions, man. We got our own land. 
We gotta have our own trade and commerce. We gotta have our own food. We gotta produce our own clothing. I don't produce anything. I'm a consumer just like you. I don't produce anything. But we gotta, we gotta work on that. And the only way we can be that is being financially independent by pulling our tools and fuse and our resources together and working collectively as a unit. That's what we have to do. So I don't mean to bust anybody's bubble or be a, a Grinch or anything like that. Let's be more productive. Let's pull our resources together. Joyce, master chef, master cook. How are you today? I'm Instead of a dirty diaper. Really you enjoying your family? Yeah. yeah. Uncle Doug. Yeah. How are you, sir? I'm fine. I want to thank you for inviting me to your home. Well, we're glad to have you and I hope that we'll see you again yeah. real soon. You will. You have the invitation to come over. Thank you. I'm going to take you up on that. You and the crew, come on in. My brother, thank you for your presence. Not a problem. And your beautiful queen, little queen there. Look at her. Look at What's her. What's up? If I could sing, I'd be singing, Isn't she lovely? <laughs> Who is this right here? Get out. Okay, okay, get it then. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, snap. All right. Oh, whoa, oh, oh, oh. Ooh. Is that the crossover? You're a bad banana with a greasy black heel.